Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pandalized here with the guide, and this is the Jet Fracture Guide. If you've pushed dish, you can jump on top of this box here just by crouching, standing up. You can clear any lurkers that are here, and if they have any alarm bots or anything, you might be able to glide over them. If you're pushing B and don't have an updraft to get on this box, you can actually get up by just climbing on here and gliding over to here. A small but very useful skill jump is this box here. It means that you can get on top of this box and peek into spawn on an elevated off angle. On the A side, you can jump on top of this box here. Just crouch to get it here. It's a great off angle into drop. You can hold with a stinger towards main. And if you need to rotate fast, you can actually jump here. You can jump from ropes onto this box, which is a great angle into drop as well as into sands. You can jump into dish from heaven by hugging this wall, gliding, and then just crouching when you reach the edge. Jump from here onto this box. Crouch, jump from here onto this box. Crouch, you can hold towards arcade. Pretty good. Quote unquote skill jump, being able to jump onto this box. It's worth noting they moved this box back, so this skill jump is no longer possible. You have to use an updraft. We want to swing off the barrier with our knife, pull our gun out and be pre-firing this angle, being careful of a chamber or a jet who could be wide. Now, when we reach this stage, we've got two options. We're either hitting sands or we're going main. If we're going sands, we get our breach to flash through the wall and we want to be throwing our smoke up here and then dashing up with this smoke. And now we've got two options again. You can either push spawn or we swing out heaven. We fight with our teammates who are coming out of main and drop and we try and trade and make some space. If the plan is not to go sands and to go main, you want to be clearing each one of these angles, just making sure that you're clearing close as well as people can be in off angles clearing the bottom angle before you clear the top angle and being careful of this close angle here there are three main dashes i like doing the first being throwing a smoke up here we can then dash up into our smoke wrap the site get the trades with our teammates and the second being we throw a smoke up here and do similar we get up here we can then swing fight anybody's sands or drop site and the third is being able to throw a smoke onto the main default area we dash in here we can go right or left from the enemy's perspective they don't know whether we're coming we've made space we put them under pressure and we can trade when it comes to opping a from spawn you definitely want to have a shorty we can go for a jump peek here just covering this angle being careful of wide you want to post up here then we want to be going first clearing all of these close angles and having great angle discipline being able to clear both of these be careful of the up down careful of this angle posted careful of close here and we just want to keep on swinging as this is an off angle that jets and stuff like to play this is where a shorty comes in handy the bottom angle is first you peek here then you go top you peek here we just want to be peeking 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 be careful about here when our team are pushing in, we want to be locking down this link area or getting into an angle like this here and locking down the sand swing, being able to play off of the information. And once the bomb's down, we want to be posted up in one of these angles that our teammates can swing off of, that you can get the pick, you can get out, dash, play for the bomb, or you can even be top site playing for a cheeky pick, especially if your number's down, going for an aggressive pick, going for sand's pick, and just using the up aggressively as it should be on attack. As for eco strategies towards A, I really like picking up a sheriff and just going for these headshots shot angles we can go for these really structured peaks making sure that our angles are being cut up perfectly and you can get some really nice sheriff picks and being really careful about all of our angle discipline here defenders are usually stood in one of these angles where we expect them to be and just picking the head off it means your team can grip up once you get the kill you guys just explode onto the site another favorite way on eco is just to rush this as fast as possible get the flash and you are just immediately up here and into their spawn if we have knives off barrier drop we want to be flashing through here smoking up top here and then double up here normally we can catch the site person off guard so incredibly quickly the person who's holding sands is now smoked off and now the site person is under incredible amount of pressure to deal with you and while you're up in there here your teammates can come in from drop or from a main and you can just get the trade on them when attacking dish you want your breach to be stunning here so that you can aggressively take this angle and you want to be aiming for this wide swing as players tend to swing out wide just peeking close peeking close being very careful of this angle here it's a very cheeky angle that can catch a lot of people off guard then i like to jump peek up here make sure nobody's opping on this angle and then coming back here you can get the angle advantage clear anybody close once the smokes come out say your viper wall or your brimstone smokes link well one of the dashes i like doing especially if people are coming out of main is smoking here dashing here now you've got two options we can either drop down and swing with our teammates or one thing i like doing is actually jump up drafting with a shorty and trying to catch this person if they're playing top site the second option i like doing is jump up draft smoking and then dashing into the site like this here and it just keeps the pace up and you can do similarly to attacking a main you can wrap the site and drop down when it comes to opping dish as soon as the barrier drops i love going for a jump peek people like to swing wide here and if they're close you can flick them and if you get the tag 
shoot on somebody and they're running back, you want to be just aiming at the edge of this here. And it means where we're shooting here, this is the timing where you can wall bang them and normally get a pick as they're trying to retreat. As always, when coming up here, you want to be peeking close, just being careful of this close angle here. And coming up here, you can swing wide. One thing we definitely want to be doing is taking a double zim peek. Then you can clear these close angles like this here. This is a very common angle towards the stairs. People love holding this angle. And then we want to be dropping back to this headshot angle, coming here, clearing this close angle, clearing this close angle as well, before then looking up top here, clearing this very common upper angle. Then we want to make sure that we're not double zoomed as people can be close here, up here, they can be playing close here. You want to be clearing this link area, clearing close here, coming back to link, holding anybody holding this angle. And once your teammates begin pushing in, the best angle that you can be posted on is up here towards heaven. Somebody always rotates from heaven here. You don't want to be double zoomed just in case anybody runs out lower and you can get the flick on them. Once you get this pick on heaven and they know the opera's here, it's a good idea to back off. And then if your main people start getting picked off, you can begin holding towards main here. You've also got an angle tucking in here, watching for the sight cross. As anybody jumping up here, they pretty much have to jump into your crosshair as you're holding this. And it's very hard for them just to pre-fire you when you're holding this sort of tight angle as well. For an extremely aggressive knife or martial wild card, we want to ping here, smoke here, get into our smoke, throw our second smoke towards the ping and then jump dash towards it. Breach flash comes in. We can then swing, get a pick towards rotators. Or if we have knives, we can jump peek, take an updraft fight towards heaven and just be an absolute nuisance and maybe even catch the rotates off guard by being so fast. If you have knives and you want to go for this A pick where you updraft, well, what can happen is you get shot from heaven or from link. So I recommend before doing your double updrafts is aiming at this, throwing your smoke so that it lands in the middle of this wall, curving one in. And it means when we updraft, we're pretty covered from both of these angles and you can go for this pick safely. Best post punt for A you can do is jet is right here on the edge of this line. You can play behind this box in main, and it means if they start defusing, you can jump up and just start knifing them. You can play from drop, and when they tap, you can just updraft and get them here. And you can also play from ropes and double updraft, getting a very high angle onto anyone defusing. When swinging B main, you've got two options, wide or close. Close is safer, but if you're going for the pick wide, you want to make sure that you're focused, you're swinging, and you've got your crosshair perfectly placed, ready for any of these stutter taps on any oppers or anybody swinging wide. Otherwise, if you go close, this is a really good spot. If they keep flashing you or fade eyeing, you can tuck in here. Here, or if they keep going for the orb, you can hide here and as soon as they tap it, you're ready to swing. When scaling up here, you want to be careful of this first angle as any oppers like peeking here. So I like jump peeking. And if you're hanging around here too long and you don't have any arcade presence, just be wary of the timing of people pushing under. Otherwise, we want to make sure we have great angle discipline, clearing every single one of these angles just as effectively as possible on top of this box. Then this headshot angle here towards the box here. We want to be towards arcade, then towards generator, clearing every single one of these angles, carrying on top of here like here then towards canteen and on top of this box here you can also see be heaven if you just tuck in pretty tight here and just peek this angle here when you're ready to dash in there's three dashes i like doing if there's cypher trips or killjoy util smoking up drafting and dashing onto it breach flash comes in clear the site and swing then you can go heaven breach stun or flash comes through you can push otherwise if the cypher or killjoy util is towards a throwing a smoke towards here clearing right you can then swing right if you spot anybody or wrap the site or play off of the flashes again. This third dash is a really good solo queue strategy. If all your team are going A, you and Breach come B, you then smoke towards Canteen after clearing everything. You jump dash in, Breach flashes through, he's already rotating and you're in their spawn. This is a fantastic strategy to use with knives as well as you just have the pace to be able to run, absolutely roll over the A side with an eco rush. If all the smokes come down in B and you think somebody's behind this box, well ask for a flash or a stun, get up here and just try and go for this kill and then drop off. When opping B, you definitely want to be challenging this wide angle, but not as aggressively as you might think. It's a good idea to take a couple of steps out and just hold. As if we look at it from their perspective, when the barrier drops and they have an op, they tend to peak this close angle here. And if they see nothing and they get impatient, they'll then tend to swing a little bit wider and you're ready for this wider swing and you'll have the advantage of being able to react before they do. Otherwise, if you see nothing, you want to be double zooming and just clearing close, clearing this tight angle. And if you see nothing, well, then we want to be scaling up, take this angle, and now we just want to be following the angle discipline that we talked about before of coming up here and when your team are ready to come in and the smokes go down it's a good idea for you just to post on this angle here this angle is the strongest as you have the entire sight cross especially when the smokes go down your team can all hide on sight they can be tucked behind the boxes and as soon as you get contact they're ready to swing and say your man down and you don't have somebody holding the flank it's a really good idea for you just to flutter between both of these angles you check here then you come back you're then peeking towards arcade and again you are the sight cross your teammates can then hold you can go for this pick say you get a kill 
You then check flank. Maybe you get another kill. You can now just back off. You're holding these angles like this here. You can back off and your teammates can hide heaven or hide sight and they know that you have the cross and they peek off of your contact. Attacking from arcade is so strong thanks to this updraft dash we can do into tower paired with some breach util. But rule of thumb, have your knife out and this upper angle, jump peek it. Make sure it's clear. Once it's clear, we want to be clearing the close box, clearing up top, clearing this box and then clearing close here. Get the breach flash stun, jump updraft dash crouch. You're in here. You can kill anybody who's stunned. You're wrapping the site. The smoke's come down and you're in here pincering the site with your teammates. If you want to go B from arcade but they're eco and you're afraid of shotguns or even cypher trips or something is playing in tar well what you can do is throw these two smokes and paired with the brimstone smokes that should be coming in generator and canteen you throw this smoke here you throw this smoke here is the one way care on top this should be smoked you then wrap the site like this clearing close and what you can do is ask your breach to then stun or flash through here and we can then updraft onto here and catch anybody who's playing behind this gen behind the smoke if you're eco rushing arcade well just doing this updraft dash is always a good idea as this is where your eco weapons are most effective and you can run and go and just keep the pace up on the site. Knives pretty much follow the same formula as Ecos. You just want to jump up, draft dash. You can come up here, but you're likely to right click somebody and then get a gun off of them. That's where you can then play. There's pretty much two ways to play the op arcade. The first is being slow and going for these picks off the round start. You go for this pick, you go for this pick here. Just following this sort of angle structure, going for these picks to try and get the opening team. You can post here as your team walks up. And when your team are actually walking up, posting here for a wide swing and combining these angles and playing even more passively, especially if the bomb's down, getting the cross for again, you have this cross here and your teammates can play on site, play me in, and then they can swing off of your contact. The second way to play with the op in arcade is actually to updraft dash and use the shorty. Once you're in here, you can then use the shorty, clear anything up here, and this is the sort of angle you want to be posted on. This angle is really, really strong, and similarly to posting up from arcade, you have the cross. You can then get this pick and begin backing off even shallower. You can back off to here, especially if it's planted on site and you can just keep backing off. Say you're last alive, you can use your smokes, but then you can dash in and try and get the defuser with a shorty. The best post plant position for Jet is just planting in the middle of these stairs out in the open, as it means we can come spawn, jump on top of this box, we can double updraft here, kill anybody defusing the bomb. You can play from inside of heaven, and when they tap, you can dash updraft out. You can play from screens, updraft and get the kill here. You can also play from heaven, you can dash out here, and it's pretty easy to get a kill from here as well. Defending on Fracture is unlike any other map simply because there are four avenues that the attackers can come from. What this also means is that if we push one of these avenues every single round, we're very likely to find the gap in the attacker's hold and be able to exploit that through a fast flank or simply catch a 1v1 playing off our initiator's utility. When playing from A main, it's a good idea to have your initiator either throwing flashes through the door or stuns through the wall. And we do want to be swinging this right off the bat. If we see nothing, I like coming to this left hand side and again, just listening, listening, listening. And if I hear anything, what I like doing is calling for my stun, calling for my flash, then I can pop my dash, get the kill, and then I can then dash through the doors pretty safely. Otherwise, if we do get into these early fights, we want to take them, prep our dash, ask for a flash through the doors or a stun, swing, capitalize off of this, dash back. I like going for another one, smoking myself off, and then coming to an angle like this here, where you're normally good for one, you can get one, smoke them off, and then you have options of updrafting, playing an angle like this, or even just dipping out, or if they're coming through the doors, backing up your initiator and going for these fights as well. If they keep rushing A main, it's just a good idea to keep things unpredictable. Sometimes playing spots like this here can catch a few people off guard. Running over to here, getting a teammate to bait for you here so that they hopefully don't check you is another good play. On eco especially, playing boxes like this here is very, very strong. And just keeping them on their toes, depending on where you're playing on site as well. So sometimes you might be playing top site here. Sometimes you might go for aggro peaks. Sometimes you might simply play the pillar or even playing angles like this here or just hiding on site like this. When opping aggressively or just a general rule of thumb for A main, you want to maybe stamp back to avoid their breach stun. Then we can go for another peak, get one of these kills, prep our dash, again, play off our initiators or even just dry peek this if you're feeling confident. Going back, I like to then updraft, and I love holding these sort of angles like this, where we can then get the kill. You can throw a smoke in, drop off onto the site again, play an off angle, or just wait for them. And another great off angle is holding here, where we can double zoom, line up both of these walls, just so that we can make sure that we see this wall still. Crouch, prep our dash if you think they're coming. When pushing dish, we would like to have a breach here, ready to hold a stun for us. What we want to do is walk forward here and listen. If we hear them rushing with footsteps, we call for our breach to stun. We're ready, we pop our dash, we swing, we we get our one, we get our two, we dash out, we smoke and we're safe. Otherwise we get our initiator to continue holding the stunner flash, hold this angle, and if we don't get the pick, see or hear anything, what we can do is pull our knife out, jump peek, 
And if we spot anything, we're prepping our dash, the stun comes in, we swing, same as before. If after you fight dish or you simply see nothing and you want to come back and defend more passively, if you get a pick and escape and the enemies are still chasing you, well a great spot Jet can sit is here and if you have your dash, it means that we can sit here and if we look at the enemy's perspective, you'll see that their crosshair is not going to be on us and we can just dash out. When opping dish off the barrier drop, I like going for a jump peek. And then when I get my shot, updrafting and then smoking my way out of here. What I'll do is come to an angle like this here as well. Then once I get my pick, I'm going to an angle like this. Where we can get the shot and then drop off. One thing that might happen when you're opping dish is that you go for one of these peaks, you see nothing and you hear them coming aim in. Getting to this sort of angle here where we can double zoom in. Very, very strong for getting this first initial pick. And then we want to be careful about the upcoming flank as we've got our one, we've done our job. The great eco spot is sitting here with a shorty or a stinger. If you have knives and want to go for a pick on dish, you can pop them, glide, double up draft and try and go for an off angle here. Playing ropes as Jet isn't very good as if you get smoked off, there's only so much you can do. But if you find yourself playing here, it's a good idea just to keep flicking between watching drop and listening and watching for the doors. The reason why it isn't particularly good as Jet is if we get smoked off, we don't have any flashes or anything to be able to come out of the smoke and take fights. And the dash back here isn't particularly reliable either. However, one method we can do is take the fight to them. So if we get smoked off, we can prep our dash, jump in here with a shorty or something, take some of these fights and then try and updraft and get out of here again. If you find yourself opping from ropes, it's a good idea off of the barrier drop just to listen for steps and be careful of anybody rushing here quickly, but you're likely to get smoked off anyway if they are rushing. However, if you don't hear any steps or any activity off the bat, well, try and time it so that you can catch anybody coming drop. Good idea to hold tight here as people tend to shift walk up or they tend to jiggle peek this angle as well. If we find ourselves getting smoked off, well, we've got two options with the op. We can either come through here and try and get a pick and then jump back into the smoke. Or if we're smoked off and they come through the doors, we can throw our own smoke and again jump down and take the fight with our shorty, updraft and get out of here. However, on an eco or something, what we can do is actually prep our dash, get a flash ready and immediately dash through the doors and try and go for some of these kills while they're stunned or flashed. And if we have knives off a of barrier drop, pop them, do a jump updraft and catch them off and beam in. When pushing the barriers off a of beam in, just make sure that you're holding to the right hand side here and you're taking these peaks one at a time. As long as we're at the right hand side here, no matter how far we peek, we can always dash back to this corner here. If you peek here and see nothing, it's a good idea to get on top of this box, but using an updraft can be loud, and if you just jump and glide towards the back of this box, you're pretty safe. This is a great angle into their spawn. Naturally, if we end up pushing off of the B main rush, just be careful of this angle, as it's caught me off a few times. When rifling on B, I like holding towards the stairs here, as it means if they tap the orb, you can swing out and normally get a kill. If you don't hear anything, you can just intermittently swing, go for one of these picks, and pretty much duck back into safety. You can then back off and play sight, and if you have a teammate playing heaven, they can bait for you, and you're normally good for one or two here. Or you can back off to heaven yourself and just keep peeking this angle, which is very strong and will net you a few kills as well. Another great spot to play is this box here, as it means that you can go for a fight, you can prep your dash, and you can swing on your terms if you hear them running up, if they neon wall or something, you can swing, get a pick, dash out, and get away. Another favorite angle of mine is this headshot angle here. It's just so incredibly strong. You can just tap heads and once you get one or two, you can just play off of this box again or you can duck into safety and then dash out to here. And if you have a teammate watching arcade, playing on top of this generator box is really good as you can get one, cut off the other angles and now you're waiting here for them to cross site where you can get another and drop off. Otherwise, for some unexpected angles, you can definitely play on top of this box with a rifle, waiting for them to come in here which then we can get a kill and dash off here as well. Or we can jump on top of this box. And if you don't play it too often, especially not early game, they'll stop clearing it. And then if you need a critical round, you can pretty much get up here, clear this corner. You want to tuck in so that you're not seen. And when you know that they're pushing up, you can clear this corner and catch anybody coming in. If you're looking to op off of the barrier drop, well, don't swing too far. You just want to hold this very tight angle. We're not moving very much at all, and we're very likely to catch off their opper who will overextend. And if you see nothing, be wary of somebody pushing close here. You do hear them and you go for a pick and you get this. You can updraft dash onto this box here. And this is a great off angle for anybody swinging BB in to try and follow you up. You can then get the pick, smoke it off, back off, and due to the smoke, you can pretty much reposition anywhere you'd like on site. When it comes to opping defensively, B is Jet's playground as there's so many elevations and just plays that we can do. The first standard angle is just holding towards the B main like this here. We can hopefully catch anybody who's peaking. Hygiene is a little bit off. Get our pick and back off to another angle like in heaven here. Then we can back off, 
well, now we can begin holding with a shorty in heaven or something like this. But the great opping spot is just holding behind this box here towards B main. We have such great angle advantage. We can get this first kill, then come to this angle here. We can then get another kill. We can run up draft up to here. After this, we can get another kill, drop off, and now we're just playing back and just cutting off the sight cross. You can get the kill, and if they're rushing you, you can dash over to here and just keep playing like we were before. As for eco strategies on B, a good tactic is two teammates playing here, one of you fights and dies, they're unlikely to then clear you, and you can normally be good for two, maybe three. Another great spot to play is in this corner, as if you know that they're not clearing angles properly, you can normally be good for two here, as you let the first pass, then you can jump out, kill the sight person, and then catch the heaven person off guard. On top of this box is also strong, as you can get your first, smoke them, and then get even more aggressive to try and shorten the range and play off of your eco guns. Hiding here is also good, as if they overextend and don't clear you, you can normally catch them off guard, especially if they're planting here, you can tuck in and deny the plant. If you have knives, float to this box and just wait for the barrier drop. Once the barrier drops, we want to be popping our knives and then double up trapping from here, where we can catch a couple of people off guard. The only problem with jumping off here is that it's very common and people are now very aware of it, so I propose an alternative of popping your knives and up drafting over here. If you're rifling Arcade, I like getting off of this angle as it's just such a pre aim angle and dropping down here. We can play the box on the left side, we can play the box on the right side and one of my favourite angles is off the barrier drop coming here and it's just such a good off angle where you can normally be good for one, back off and you're normally able to get away here without being traded. You've just got to be careful of how long you stay here off of barrier drop as they can be under and kill you. Another way off the barrier drop is playing on top of this box here, it's a good off angle. I would say it's only useful though if you know that they're coming and rushing Arcade frequently as you can get one and then jump dash away. If you find yourself going for this aggressive push on Arcade, get your Breach to stand outside of B-Link and then stun towards this. You want to have your knife out and as soon as he stuns, you're ready to swing, flashes, comes in, you're ready to fight. Go for these angles, clearing these angles and if you see nothing, well now we can go on the fast flank using our dash or if they're coming B-Main, we can dash, maybe catch them off under. Otherwise, another play I love doing is getting a flash. It doesn't matter who does it, but running here, once the flash comes in, we're essentially B hopping into under immediately. We can take this fight and if if you don't see anybody we are immediately flanking them here normally you can catch somebody off guard from this timing and another tip is if they're rushing here you can pretty much have your knife out and run and they're never going to be able to hear you and you're going to be behind four or five of them opping from arcade aggressively is incredibly strong as this angle off the barrier drop is one of the best op angles on this map you have a huge angle advantage you can get this kill and then back off you can updraft to here and just keep playing this off angle like this here you can then get a kill, drop off, and then just keep cutting off the enemies as they're trying to push Arcade. If you're upping from ropes, I would suggest not holding this angle and instead dropping, doing a silent drop and holding something like this. As it keeps them on the same elevation, it gives you a chance to get the kill. You can prep your dash and then dash out of there. And this angle here, you just have too much to worry about. They can wide swing you, they can be up down. There's just, it's too hard to hit as a shot. As for a couple of eco strategies off the bat, just dropping here. Very, very good spot as they need to hard clear you. It's close range by the time they get here and it's it's ideal for a stinger otherwise just hiding here with a shorty is one of my favorite things to do i will only buy a shorty no armor and it pretty much guarantees me a gun and if you have knives you can pop them glide prep your dash and when the flasher stun comes in you can updraft catch anybody off guard and then updraft again to try and catch anybody who's holding the flank you can also push under with your knives, which is very strong, as you're just so quick. If the enemies keep opping from here or from here, well, one updraft spot you can do is jump on top of this box by gliding, and you've got two options. If you think that they're playing inside of tower, you want to walk backwards, crouch, and line yourself up with this corner. Then you want to place this HUD line just at the corner of this light here, and you can walk forward, double updraft, and in this very skinny gap, you can hopefully hit a headshot. Otherwise, if you think they're playing sight, it's much, much easier. You just double up draft, head to the left here, and you can hit heads. If you know the enemies are grouping up dish to go for an execute, you can glide and then drop, up draft a little bit, and it gives you some cover to go for a pick here. A good defensive play with the knives is on top of this box holding dish, as it means you're able to dash away. But if they come sand, you can prep your dash, you can ask for a flash, and you can pretty much guarantee a kill in this area here. If you push B quickly, well, what you can do is get on top of this box, and if you know that they're in spawn here, well, you can prep your dash, glide a little bit, and then use your dash updraft and catch anybody off in spawn here, and maybe get a kill. And you want to do this skill jump onto these boxes here, standing at the back of the boxes. Then when the timer's up, pop your knives, jump off, double updraft, and you're ready to go for some stun kills. If the enemies are aware of this normal updraft, well, you have a secondary alternative of being able to glide here, pop your dash, and then you can updraft over here and try and go for a pick and dash off. 
and you want to make sure that you nail the proper jump updraft here as you won't get enough height if you don't and if you don't jump far enough out you're going to hit your head off this pipe and it's going to be a waste this updraft is a little more risky than the other two but if your enemies are getting savvy to the b main pushes well get your breach to stun you pop your knives float out pop your dash and when the stun comes in you're ready to pop off and just hit some of these heads if you're in heaven and you know someone is holding this angle from Jen, well, you can pretty much updraft here and get a free kill. If you know an AWP is holding this angle, you can use both of your knives, updraft here, and try and get an off angle to get that pick. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been useful, and I just want to say thank you for all the support, and I can't believe that this channel has hit 1,000 subs already. The fact that this channel is doing so well in such a short amount of time is just mind-blowing to me, and all the support has been so overwhelming, and I can't wait to cover all the new map changes for Bind, and I'm going to be doing daily YouTube uploads. If you want to get coached, I'm going to be doing free VOD reviews three times a week on my Twitch. They're going to end up on the YouTube channel, but head over to the Discord, upload a VOD. You'll then be entered into a raffle, and hopefully you can catch me live, and we can go over your VOD on stream. Once again, thank you so much. Do hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys in the next one.